Hey everyone, it's your boy Rek coming out with a brand new Fortnite FPS boost guide and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to boost FPS and reduce input lag in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2 using the best Fortnite setting. So in this video we are gonna go through all of the Fortnite settings and I'm gonna be showing you guys the best Fortnite settings for your PC. And I'm also gonna show you guys how to get the perfect Fortnite settings for your specific graphics card at the end of the video so just go ahead and stick around for that as well. These settings are gonna help you guys boost FPS and reduce input lag in Fortnite. So if you guys want to jump straight into the video just go ahead and use these timestamps on your screen. And for those of you guys who are still watching, thank you guys so much for all of the recent support. We just hit 10,000 subscribers and I am really grateful to you for that. So just go ahead and keep on supporting your boy and I will be bringing more content soon. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead and click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And without any further ado guys, let's dive straight into the video. So starting off with the video, go ahead and go to the Fortnite settings and we are gonna be starting off with the video settings. Under the display, make sure that window mode is always set to full screen. Don't ever use windowed full screen or windowed mode. Always use full screen because it's gonna help you guys reduce the input lag and also boost FPS in Fortnite. So just go ahead and use full screen. Moving on to the resolution, it's all personal preference but I recommend using a lower resolution for a low-end PC and a higher resolution for a high-end PC. Again, it's all preference so just go ahead and mess around with it until you find the perfect one for your PC. And for the frame rate limit, I recommend capping your FPS according to the refresh rate of your monitor. And if you guys are getting really good FPS, you can always go ahead and cap it at one step ahead of your refresh rate. For me, I'm using a 60Hz monitor and I am getting 80 FPS on average. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cap it at 60. Under the graphic settings, these are all personal preference. But for me, I'm using brightness at 100%, user interface contrast at 1x. And the colorblind mode I have turned it off. In the previous chapter it used to help in seeing the storm but the storm now in this chapter is already very transparent so it does not serve much purpose right now. But it's all personal preference so you guys can go ahead and use it if you like to. Moving on to the graphics quality these are the most important settings inside of here so just go ahead and use the ones that I'm going to show you guys. So for the 3D resolution I recommend using 100% but if you guys are getting a lot of FPS drops and stutters you guys can always go ahead and use anywhere between 80 to 90% and then for the view distance I have set it to near but you can go ahead and set it to medium if you guys are getting good FPS for the shadows always turn them off. <laughs>
the best Fortnite settings, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the perfect Fortnite settings for your specific graphics card. So to do that, you guys need to download the Fortnite best settings by Reknotic Pack and I will leave the link in the description down below. So just go ahead and click on that link which will take you to this website right here. Now I'm using the AMD Radeon FPS pack as an example but it will be this pack for you guys right here. So just go ahead and click on the download button and if anything else opens up like an ad or something just go ahead and close it and click on the download button again until it takes you to the upload hub. Just go ahead and wait for 5 seconds and click on this download now button which will download this pack right here. Now you guys will need WinRAR or 7-zip to extract the pack so just go ahead and use either one of those and extract it. So once the pack is extracted just go ahead and open up this folder. Open up this folder and go ahead and open the read before use. Just go ahead and read it and then close it and now select your graphics card. For me I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the NVIDIA FPS booster pack and then select my graphics card. Now if you guys don't find your graphics card inside of here just go ahead and open up this folder which says one others and use any of the settings inside of here. So for me I'm using a 750Ti and it's present in the pack so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and go to medium normal copy this config file and now we can close the pack. So now go ahead and go down to your start menu and search for percentage, local, app data, percentage and open it up. Then go ahead and scroll down to find Fortnite game, saved, config, windows client and then paste the config file right here. Go ahead and replace the file and now you can close out of it. So this is how you guys can get the perfect settings for your specific graphics card. So yeah guys that will be it for this video, if this video helps you guys in any way shape or form, be sure to leave a like down below and if you guys want to see more of the content, go ahead and click that subscribe button along with the notification bell so whenever I upload a new video you guys are instantly notified. Once again thank you guys so much for all the support and I will see you guys in the next one, until then stay awesome.